Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here with the start of our Let's Play series of Dead Space 3, the third person horror game developed by Visceral Games that is the third installment in the Dead Space franchise. Now this game takes place two months after the events of Dead Space 2 and primarily occurs on the frozen planet Tau Volantis. And it appears like we are starting off on that frozen planet. And look at this, who's this guy? June 18th, 2314, introducing our first character. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Come on. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? Tim! Oh, thank God! Did you find it? Find it. Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Just uh, follow the waypoints and thank you. I, I can't tell you anymore. Just get there. Do, do you hear me? You have to get there. What? So is lost. What? Dang it. <laughs> Alright, so this is Tim. He is looking for something. He doesn't know what it is. But the doc says it's urgent. And it looks like we gain control of Tim. Interesting. Well, I can't see squat in a snowstorm. Luckily enough, I can press B to find my objective. Looks like we're just heading straight here. Okay, Tim. You can do this. Oh, he's dependent on you. You're a soldier, right? <laughs> right. Gun's not even loaded. What? <laughs> you kidding me? Yeah. Got an unloaded weapon? Fool. Oh no. Here we go. A little break in the uh, snowstorm. Looks like we've got some sort of a facility down there. And ooh, a ship. I think hey, that's a, yeah, that's a ship. It. Good. Can you get inside? It's all sealed up. Look around. There must be a way. All right. Well, we've got these boxes here. Uh, finally, some ammunition. Space bar to break these open. It's gonna be E to pick up, R to reload, and break, break a latch. I guess I'll have to shoot it here. There we go. Now we can unlock it. Uh oh. You alright? Uh, I guess not. Excellent. Oh, what the? What the heck? The Lord! Punch him! Oh, axe in the face. Jeez, I'm crow. Found a way in. Good. You're looking for a cylinder. About half a meter long. Do you see it? Cylinder. Looking for a cylinder half a meter long. What the? Those guys. Those were not happy. Those were not happy people. Okay, looks like there are some more unhappy people. <laughs> His corpse literally flew. Right into my screen. Is that? What is that? Oh, okay. There we go. Anything else? Yep. No. Okay. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with these things? Stop it! Jeez, I'm pro. Alright. Uh. <laughs> this is completely ridiculous. I really need to go up there, don't I? Okay. Come on, Tim, we can do it. No problem. Alright. Is that the. Oh, it's a cylinder. Codex. I got it. Excellent. Doc, I got it. It's a problem. Oh no. Oh, Tim. Tim, get out. Get out the latch. There you go. And looks like we got a nice little repelling action. Tim, where are you? Hey, Doc, I'm, I'm hanging from a cliff. Uh, but I got whatever this is. Codex. Codex. 
It's the key to saving everything! Meet me at the silo and don't stop for anyone! Alright, so make our way down here. Looks like we've got falling debris. Okay, just hit space bar to make these gaps here. Like, looks like I can just keep spamming it down, make this a little quicker. Oh, fireball in the face, watch out. That's no bueno. And here comes the ship. Okay. Guys, um, I, I feel I feel like I'm in an Indiana Jones movie. This is completely absurd. Get the left and right. Watch out! Don't fall into the engine. All right, we're safe for now. Where did we land? Tim, you all right, man? Why are you taking your helmet off if something comes? Where are we? Like foot. Yeah. Are those things gonna turn into the crazies? Holy heck. They're everywhere. Fine young soldiers, Whoop. every one of them. Who are you? General Mahad, sir. Ah, yes, hello. Where's Dr. Serrano? Earl Serrano, always the optimist. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control. Oh. And now, for the love of Earth and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right. Right. You love the Earth, son. Your mom and dad. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yes, sir, of course. He's going to kill him. Glad to hear that. Well, can't say I didn't see that coming a mile away. So what's wrong with this guy? He is deleting the information on the codex. He is saluting his flag. <laughs> and he's shooting himself. Okay, I definitely didn't see that coming. I thought he was some twisted, bent on corruption and power and trying to, I don't know. Apparently he just really wanted to destroy the codex, purge the data, and shoot himself. Now what? Brothers and sisters, the age of man is at an end. New Horizons Lunar Colony 200 years later. Look at that, ground traffic still exists even with flying vehicles. That's silly. Isaac, I know you're there. Come on, pick up the phone. Fine. Look, I just called to say I'm moving on. Oh. I have to. Just take care of yourself. Look at his futuristic leather jacket. <laughs> He's even got like the back meter on it to tell how much health he has. Why would you want have that in like the city? Uh oh. Intruder alert. Yeah, it gets your crazy dicing weapon. Who is it? What the hell? Hey, oh, get out of my house. You ask Clark? Get the fuck off. Answer me! GTFO. Tim! Who the hell are you? Left him up. Have a lot of time, so I want to make this brief. I understand you're something of an expert on markers. You created one. I didn't make shit. Your government made me. And you destroyed two, which is why we're here. We got a job for you. No. No. I'm done with that. He's a broken you man. You somebody else for your suicide mission. We did before we lost contact with her. She told us to find you, Ellie. Where is she? What did you do to her? Where is she? It's a blackmail. Unitologists have breached the inner concourse. We can't hold them. Captain, run out of time. Gotta go. She's out there all alone, Isaac, and I can't help her unless you help me. Okay. This is blackmail. Okay. What the heck? Isaac, just... Just hang... I guess... I don't know. This doesn't really seem like the best city. 
to live in anyways. Maybe he should just follow them. Why would you, why wouldn't you move? Maybe, maybe my concept of the world is odd, but even a crazy place like this with unitologists blowing up your city and... Okay, E to pick up, obviously I knew that, Q to heal. You live in a place this junky, I would try to find, or though maybe in the future there's no nice, like I live in Maine right now and there's lots of lush forest and all sorts of wonderful things that I really enjoy. I could not stand living in a place like this, it'd drive me absolutely bonkers. Can I interact with any of that stuff? Look at that stuff I can't get. Pick up some something right there. And see if there's anything in the bathroom for me to get here. A little light. Okay. Nothing in here. Nothing. Nothing at all, huh? I don't want to bring some shaving cream. You could probably use a shave. Message. Here we go. Playback. Message 33. Caller. Earthrise apartment. This message is for the residents of apartment 16. Your rent is past due. Oh, please, I paid my rent. It's in the mail. Might have got lost okay. in the post office. So. I said I'd help you. <laughs> now, where's Ellie? How long has she been missing? Just shut up and get over here. We'll play later. Okay. What the heck is that noise? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. There we go. This place is junk. Who the hell are you guys? Earth Gov's last battalion. Name's Norton. Captain Robert Norton. Sergeant John Carver. Last battalion? What do you mean? Last means last, genius, as in no more left. Looks <laughs> clear. No more left? There's a right. Go! 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 Press X to crouch. Um. Who's that bomber? What an idiot. You could have just throw those grenades. I didn't have to do that. I don't get those people. Just throw it all away. Some crazy cause. Oh, it's because you're indoctrined. Well, that makes sense. You're an idiot for thinking that. Being that way, but. Okay. Baddies. Okay. else. See that? Yes. I don't know why I'm still crouched, but... Right, we got some ammunition here. Can I pick that up from here? I'm really gonna have to walk all the way around. It's not proximity based, it's elevation based. Are you serious? That is silly. I don't know why sometimes people make these decisions. Come on, developer. If I'm standing right here at the edge like this, just as close as if I were on the other side, you should let me pick that up. Figure it out. It ain't that hard, I'm sure. Maybe it's a lot harder than I think. Oh, spotlight. Suicide bomber. These are unitologists. Why are they trying to kill us? You. They're trying to kill you. What? Get, get out of there. Shut your trap. I press C when my stasis is low. Which it isn't at the moment, but were it, I could have done that. And it looks like we're uh, probably going up here, yeah. Well, unitologists are not happy with me. So much so that they've sent an entire army. Why are these fanatics after You've me? You've destroyed markers in the past, I think that makes you a direct threat to their plan. Plan? Some end time prophecy based on the markers. Convergence? <laughs> yeah, Ellie thinks you can stop it. So now she's missing and they followed you here? Yes, now get to the roof of the Dredger Corp building. There's an extraction team waiting. All right. I must get to the roof. Objective updated. Oh, wow, I was really about to... I thought... The... Right. Ooh, look at these things here. Stasis pack. Small med kit. Serious. Gosh darn it. What the hell's wrong with you people? How did that even help your cause remotely? It didn't. It. Boy, do I run out of ammo quick. All right.
right? Make us whole? Well, that's... <laughs> uh... Were that symbol not so phallic, that wouldn't sound so ridiculous. And that was mighty oh, funny. I've hit the freeway. Then cross it. They're unmanned transports. They don't stop for anything. I've still got my stasis unit. I'll slow the traffic and get across. All right, so... Aim and press C. Just like that. Well, that slowed the traffic for sure. <laughs> to a dead halt. All right. Whoops. Whoops, indeed. I just noticed something over here. EarthGov artifact. Looks like we're gonna collect all those bad boys. And we're going up. He's headed back up to the streets. Team three, cut him off. It's not chumps. You're gonna do nothing to me. Check over here real quick. Always gotta look. Always gotta look. See what I mean? Guessing we're just supposed to go through that door anyways, but... Check-in doesn't hurt. Fill up some resources and stuff, you know. Switch weapon, one, two, three, yeah. You can also do that mouse wheel, which is what I've been doing. The heck? There's just bodies everywhere in this game. Like, it makes sense. Brothers and sisters, the age of man is at an end. We have become too many, too little to go around. Corporation. Norton, this isn't just a manhunt. It's systematic slaughter. The government. Oh, you noticed. Why topple the government? Why EarthGov? Dan explains them for experimenting with the markers. They were terrorists. So you can imagine what they think of you. Have you reached the extraction site yet? Getting there. Almost there. Fear not. So they don't like the government. Bunch of radicals. Bunch of crazies. Dredger Corp. Lunar Times News. In today's Lunar Times News. 24 to 5. Alright, let's see. Sea of Tranquility delayed. Oh, come on. I was really hoping to see that. Oh, oh, oh. All that for naught. This one's still alive. Bring him here. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you would just shoot anyone else in the head. So this little story trope is kind of weird. Isaac Clark, just the man I was looking for. Oh, don't waste your energy. You're going to be dead in a matter of minutes. Pick him up. There's something I'd like you to see. All right. There. You see that? That's a marker test lab. They're everywhere at all the major colonies and outposts. What do you want from me? As part of the marker test program, Isaac, you helped make them. And today, you of all people get to watch me set them free. No. What? No. You'll kill everyone. Death is only the beginning, Isaac. Nature must take its course, and I can't allow you or anyone else to stop that. It's not nature if you're interfering, idiot. Eyes forward, Isaac. Pay attention. Nice fur coat, Sally. Okay, so he just blew up that marker test facility. And now it's time for you to join the cycle of rebirth. Kill him. Oh. Or just avoid the shot and fall into a pile of garbage. <laughs> or a pile of corpses. Literally, corpses everywhere. So they should have named this game. All right. <clears throat> so he blew that up, and I'm assuming things are going to go to hell now. In fact, 
limbs to dismember, yes, I know. I still really want to interact with these pop machines, but that's not an option. Well, I feel like I'm playing already, just feel like I'm back in Dead Space 2. Um, they definitely I think I've nailed this feeling. Okay, so filled up on my stasis and all that, and uh, we're all set on health. We do have another ammo clip over here, and another one over here. Wonderful. Now. Looks like the infestation begins. I didn't realize all you had to do was blow up a marker for this all this garbage to happen. Corpse stomping, corpse. Hear someone else? Or is that just his death now? Must have just been. Alright, we're gonna grab this here. No! Damn it! I thought I didn't expect this stuff, but it's just. Come on! I hate you guys. Oh, good lord! You done? It's so... Oh, man. Already just overwhelmed. And the red hue returns. Elevator. Terrible things always happen in elevators. Isaac, have you reached the extraction team I'm yet? Going. All dead. Dan, it got here first. Fuck. Then find a way out of the city. I'm coming in with the Eudora. Washington Station's not far. I can ride one of the trains out. Good plan. See you on the tracks. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Things never go according to plan. This is an emergency room. For your safety, this area will be locked down for further notice. Stay calm and remain indoors. Help is on the way. I right, got plenty of ammo for this weapon, so we're gonna use this bad boy. Happened over there. Oh no. I don't want to go in there. Uh, no. Anything representing like a strobe light terrifies me. I hate you. What? That doesn't make sense. This is. My speed is Shush. You shut your mouth. Alright, well, actually, before we go over here. I'm assuming that is exactly where we need to go, yes, but I did see some... Okay, well that's apparently locked. That's fantastic. 
Well, we do have a workbench. Um, I don't know if it's unpowered or not, but can't interact with it right now. All right, well, I guess that's just not. I was hitting E. It's just something else I'm supposed to hit. Yeah, it's probably isn't the best weapon choice for me. Are you kidding me? You kidding me? I want a grenade in this game. That's what I mostly want. No, oh, no, get off me! Now! Get away from me. Okay. Oh, jeez, I'm pro. I start throwing these things at people. That's what I gotta do. <laughs> I'm going to be so angry this entire game. You guys have no idea. Tools of Terror. We steal ideas. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That was funny. Nope. Watch out, lady. Why? These guys are crazy fast. Crazy fast. Call elevator, thank you. Open elevator, thank you. Close elevator, thank you. No trains. Okay. I made it to the train station. What about Danik's men? I lost them in the panic. This outbreak may buy us some time. We'll grab a train. Let's go. No good. Looks like the train was getting refitted with a new power car. So? I'm gonna have to put it back together. We'll do it fast. Danik's gunships aren't far off. We'll try to draw them away then. Be fast. All right, well, I'll be, uh... Train assembly incomplete. Please attach engine and fuel car before initiating departure sequence. I will be assembling the train in our next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll be picking up and continuing our Dead Space 3 Let's Play series very shortly. I'm gonna put together a train. That's gonna be easy enough. Just do it like that.